Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on this channel. So in this video, I will be showing you how to make an automatic hub and band system in your Block It game. Before we start this video, I did do an announcement on my channel and I said that I will only be uploading on Saturdays now. That is correct and it's because I am starting college. The reason why this isn't uploading on Saturday is because the start date from the college actually got moved back. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to show you how to make the hub system first, and then the band system, and then a system where you want people to be like hubbed a certain amount of times, and if they keep breaking the rules, they will get banned. So I'm joining my band game, which people will be teleported to if they got banned or hubbed. We want to make sure the spawn is completely out of the way. Let's get a spawn, place it here, and then we can have walls around it. Like so, make sure to build it quite high so if multiple people join, they will spawn on each of his heads. You don't want people spawning on the top. So now I've got that sorted out, so if people join the game, they will get teleported there and nothing will happen. But for people who have got banned, they're going to be teleported to a certain place and if they get hobbed, they're going to be teleported to a certain place. So if people get hobbed, I want them to spawn here. So to do this, you want to do command warp location and then you can put the name of the location, it could be anything. I'm just going to name it hub. The block that your mouse is hovered over, it will put that warp location there like that. And then you want to get the ID of the world, so you just type the command ID and then copy and paste this number here, but I'll just copy it for the moment, we'll paste it somewhere else, or you can just write it down somewhere. And then for the band place, I'm actually going to change it to red so I don't get mixed up with the two different places, and we're going to do warp, location, ban, like that. So now we're going to go back to the main game, and if people glitch into places where they're not supposed to be, you can either hub or ban them. So if you want to make it so they get hubbed to that world, you can do warp, Put the ID that we just copied from the world and then put the name of the place so we can do hub like this. Um, if you want to change, you can do easy warp as well because warp just place one warp. Um, you can do easy warp like this. So you can just keep clicking like this and then once you've placed these down and you want to exit off it, you can just do the command exit. So now when people walk into that, they'll get teleported to the hub place. In the other world that we place our hub location spawn, you can add like a little room and then you can add a sign in that room saying you've been hubbed. You can't just do easy warp the ID and then ban because that will teleport them to the world but they will still be able to join back. So you need to add a stat in your main game. So we're going to add a stat called ban. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it ban like this. And then what you want to do is away from everything we need to build a little mechanism. So I'm just going to build it over here. So we want to build one, two, three like that and delete this block here like that. And then you want to make sure the top block is can collide off. The bottom one can be can collide on or off, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to delete that now. And then on the top block, we want to do stat giver ban, and then we want them to give a one ban stat ID. We hover our mouse over the top block and then press enter like that. And then on the block underneath where they will be dropped, you want to do warp, put the ID of the other game where you want people to be warped if they got hubs or banned like this. And then you want to do the name of the place that you want to be teleported. Um, if you remember, I put the name as ban like that, so I just press enter there. And then also, instead of adding the spawn here, you want to add the spawn further away from people so people can't walk back to it once they've been teleported. I'm going to also bring it over here like that. The can collide is off, make sure to have it can collide off. You can just raise it up off the ground a bit. So people will be teleported there. And then you want to add two blocks underneath it like this. You want to add a stat telly, put the name of the stat and then put one. Going from here to over here like that. So if people try to rejoin, they'll just get teleported to this block. And then they'll be dropped into the warp again so they can't join the world. So if they join, they'll be kicked again and over and over again. But if they don't have the stat, they'll be teleported to the game. So you can just put a normal telly here going to where people would be teleported into the main game if they're a new person or if they've just joined and they don't have the band stat. And now what you want to do is do easy telly, hover your mouse over this block, press enter and then you can add the tellies down and if people walk into the tellies they'll be teleported here and kicked from the game. If I didn't want people walking on these blocks by glitching into somewhere if there's a room here, you can just click down here so if people walk into it they will get the stat be kicked from the game and every time they try to rejoin they'll just keep getting kicked so they won't be able to play on the game anymore and that is how to make the automatic ban system and now I will show you how to make a system where you can be hubbed a certain amount of time say you get hubbed the first three times but if you keep breaking the rules three times it will be a permanent ban so now we're going to add the stats hub like this 
I've also moved the spawn over here as well like this and now what we want to do is get the normal block and go one two three four five like this and then you want to delete these two blocks in between so it leaves this if you want to make a rule so if people hop three times they get a ban you'd have to build three of these I want it to be so if you break the rules three times each time you break the rule it is a hub but then the fourth one is a ban from my game so I would build three of these like that we will add the walls after and now on these top ones we want to do stat tele hub which is the name of my stat and then one going from here to over here and then you want to do stat tele hub two going from here to here and then stat tele hub three going from here to over here like this because when you break the rule again and you already have three hubs you would be banned from the game so now here we're going to do stack giver hub 1 on here we're going to do stack giver hub 2 and on here we're going to do stack giver hub 3 so when it's someone's first time breaking the rules and getting hubbed they will spawn here you want to make sure that these are cankerlite off as well so you want to make sure these ones are cankerlite off down here and these ones are cankerlite off um, it doesn't matter if the bottom ones are off or on I would get hub to the normal world if I break the rule again I'll be teleported back here and I would go into the next one if I break the rule again I will get the third hub and then if I break the rule again which that will be a ban next time and I would get the ban stat and I would be banned from the game also each time someone gets the hub stat you want them to actually go to your hub game so you want to do easy warp the ID of the, your second game which is like the hub and ban game and then you want to the name of the place so I named it hub and then you want to click all of these like that I don't want to walk into at the moment and that is done and now the last part is actually linking the mechanism up to the place that people are playing so say if I don't want people to go over here if they glitch in if I have a room here I would do easy telly go from the first one like this make sure you hover your mouse over it when you when you press enter and then where I don't want people walking if they glitch into a place you just place them down like that you can add these tellies to certain places where people can't get in and the only way they could have is by glitching so I'm just gonna go over it again the can collide blocks and the non can collide blocks so all of these blocks here including these are all can collide off the bottom ones don't really matter they can be can collide off or on but the ones above it definitely need to be can collide off because you want people to be dropped through you can delete this floor underneath because you don't really need this so now you want to add walls on all of these mechanisms because people can walk out and stuff while when they've been teleported so you just want to add walls like this going all the way around and then you can just add a roof on the top and then you want to do this for every single one don't just add a wall like this because people can jump from one to another so you want to make sure the walls go in between each mechanism like so and then we can add the roof on top to make sure they don't jump out like that and that is completely done we can also do stack display ban off there we go like that so now you can't see the stat but it is still in the game if you want to turn it back on you can just put it on and then that would make it so you can see it in the game I'm just going to do stat display hub which is the name of the stat and then off so people can't see that stat so I had two on the hub stat so if I go into it again I will get my third hub stat and I'll be warped to the hub world there we go like that so we're going in and I've been warped to this place you can add like a little room here like this and then you can add a sign saying like oh you've been hubbed if you get three hubs it's a ban so people know and then over here you can add like a little room and say like oh you've been banned from this game if you're wondering how to get unbanned the only way is by getting someone who has perms on the game to remove your stat that you've got so because I have now three hubs if I go into it again um, I will actually be kicked from the game and I won't be able to rejoin it might not warp people straight away but after like a few seconds it will warp the people and now I'm at the ban place like this remember you can add signs saying like oh you're banned and stuff like that and then if people try to rejoin the world they would just get warped back to the second game that you created as you can see it might take a few seconds to load and there we go I'm back at this game so yeah that is actually going to be all for this video Press that big red button which says subscribe, like this video, and we will see you on the next video. Bye!